Welcome back gamers, it's Friday, and you know what that means, it's top 5 time. This week we pay tribute to the most useless characters in video games. Characters who just really need to get their lives together and start being helpful or useful in some way to the player. So here we go. Five. Number 5 on my list is Slippy from Star Fox. Now granted, none of the Star Fox crew was super helpful in the first game, they just mostly got themselves in trouble and you had to bail them out all the time, but for some reason Slippy having someone on his tail and needing my help always stuck out to me. It seemed to happen more often than any of the others. I think it was his voice. He had one of those voices that just made you want to punch him square in the face. Ah! I'm hit! Who the hell let this guy onto the team? Four. And Ninja flipping his way into the number 4 spot is the most useless Ninja Turtle ever to grace the Nintendo Entertainment System. I'm talking about Raphael. His stupid little size have absolutely no range, so in order to use them, you have to get within headbutting distance of Bebop or Rocksteady. I think the worst part about Raphael was the fact that this game was already mind-numbingly difficult to begin with. Some of those swimming levels were extremely tough. I think the best strategy is just to start out as Raphael, so that when he inevitably dies, you can take on the more difficult levels with a different Ninja Turtle, one that didn't suck. No wonder Raphael was always so angry. His weapon was useless. Hell, Donatello's bow was a more effective weapon, and it was made of wood. Three. Number three on the list is Roman Bellic. You may remember him from GTA 4. He's the guy that told you how awesome everything in Liberty City was and how you were going to get tons of ladies and live in a mansion. And then when you show up, he ended up living in a roach infested apartment and owes money to everyone and their moms. Not only does this lying douchebag trick you into coming to the city, but then you have to serve as his errand boy and stop him from getting beaten up or kidnapped at every turn. And when you save his ass on the basketball court, does he help you beat up those guys? No, he just lies in a ball and cries like the useless tool he is while you do all the work. And later on, when I've got two SWAT teams and a chopper chasing me, I get a phone call from Roman who wants to go bowling. Get your life together, Roman! I've got real to do! Two. Number two on the list is Ashley from Resident Evil 4. Ashley, I love you, but you're useless. Completely useless. The best thing about you is that you can be told to hide in a dumpster or something until the fighting is over. Many a time I tried to just leave you in that dumpster and continue on by myself, but alas, the game would not let me. I can't count the number of times I'd be fighting a bunch of Las Plagas goons trying to save the world and hear your loud whiny screams coming from the other side of the room as you were carried off and out the door. I get that you're the president's daughter and he wants to get you back, but you're so completely worthless and saving you takes time out of my busy schedule of saving the world. I hope if you appear in any sequels, you've learned how to use a f***ing gun. What? And coming in at number one, we're taking it back old school and going with a guy that everyone was always disappointed to see. I'm talking about Toad. Hey Toad, nice to see you again. Let me guess, my princess is in another goddamn castle. And I just wasted my time saving your useless ass. This is the Mushroom Kingdom, right? And you're a mushroom person. Why are you not out there jumping on Goombas, dodging bullet bills, defending the kingdom? I'm not even supposed to be here. I'm a plumber and I'm stuck fighting off the guys who kidnapped your princess. Seriously, you guys built castles, you can't mount any type of defense against these a-holes. Their main method of attack is to move slowly towards you. Man the f*** up, Toad. Well, that's it. Those are my selections for the most useless characters in video games. I am interested to hear who you guys would pick, so go ahead and leave those in the comments below. And I'll see you... Hang on. God damn it, Roman! No, I do not want to go bowling!